Today is Friday, March 15th. Here's what's coming up on the mayor's office. But he here's the deal with Garrett Cole and and being with him last year, watching him every day, he's hands down the best pitcher in the game. I love it. Like there's a lot of there's Garrett Cole and everybody else. Seriously, I really believe that. And I would say most guys that face him would say the same thing. And I'm in love. We got a big one today, brother. I have never- we got a big, big one today. It's the big present gift. I don't, even know, I don't even know what it is. You know, all I know, all I know, Chinch, all I know is you're looking good today, brother. You're looking good today. Okay, so we're gonna do this first, right? Yeah, we're gonna do that first. There's okay. the box. All right, got your scissors. Did you open it yet? I mean, open no. the box. No, okay. you told me not to do anything. So, I- okay, you're gonna need those scissors. Okay. Here we go, baby. That's ridiculous. Woohoo! I have to do a uh, fast forward on this this unboxing, a little time lapse or something. You're really oh, yeah. All right, let's go. Cut my finger off. Oh, my. Come on, don't don't hurt yourself, Chinch. I'm not. Oh. <laughs> okay, I know this is going to be definitely a good packing job. It's obviously already is because this thing was quadruped. Oh, it says fragile. It must be a It's fragile too. Yes, it's fragile too. All right, hold on. God, I mean, I mean, you opening these presents, this is, this is ridiculous, dude. What, what happens at Christmas time? It's horrible. You're actually, you're actually attacking this box. This box is never going to be used again. When no. Sarah opens things, we use the same box eight times. Oh my God. All right. I'm gonna have to see. Yeah, you're looking jacked though, Chinch. Your triceps are coming out as you're trying to get this box open. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. There it is. Something. Oh, oh yeah, and you and Pop- yep, you you got the popcorn. Hey, that, that's his signature move. My buddy's signature move. Oh, what is this? Okay, you got to pull it out. Oh, here, I'm just gonna pull it out with all. The all right, popcorn. go ahead. You, you just pick the stuff up later. Screw it. <laughs> <laughs> there, goes, there goes the popcorn. <laughs> popcorn all over the floor. It's the all right, all right, all right. It be a fragile, bro. Fragile. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. This is where you got to use the scissors. Got it. Okay. This is where you're about to go like Neanderthal man on it and ruin the whole thing. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm yeah, gonna this is ready. nice and easy. Nice and easy scissors. Wrap. Get the wrapping out real nice. I'm out of breath. Oh, turns okay. out. Turns out. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, you're gonna have to use the scissors again because I got more tape. More again. tape. What is this? There's pens on here. I don't know what these pens are. Are right, easy, easy. Oh, very easy here. Holy, I'm bold. A little aggressive. Oh, what? The oh, 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 oh. Okay, you gotta get it all. I'll get it off. I think I know what this is, but I want to wait. Dude. The fact that you're wearing what you're wearing today oh, is incredible. God, dude. The fact that you uh, the outfit you're wearing right now is almost you're exact. Kidding me? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Our boy Travis Grubb, baby, the Grubber. Oh my god, dude! This is unbelievable. Dude, wait! Do you see how awesome this is? Oh my god! All right, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna. Unpack the whole thing before. I yeah, yeah. Unpack the whole thing. Yeah. Holy, it's God. so freaking cool, dude. My, you, our man Travis Scrub that does the bobbleheads, dude. This is unbelievable. Came up with a mayor's office bobblehead, and look at your outfit, dude. You got the glasses on today oh, and the green hat. Oh my God. <laughs> Hold on. See, get it all. Yeah, get it all off. So, so Travis gets his props for how much of a freaking artist he is dude look how dude travis does a 3d imaging on each one of those 
and then hand paints him, dude. And the whole time he was sending me like every week, how's this looking? How's Chinch look? I go, dude, that's money. And then you wore, the, dude, look what you wore today, dude. You wore the glasses and the and the and the green hat. I can't believe it, dude. I cuff my jeans exactly like this. Oh, dude, that looks incredible. I know, dude, it looks incredible, dude. Look how oh, awesome that is. Oh, my God. I'm like, anyone that listens on audio, go to video today. Go to the YouTube and see this bobblehead that my man. Oh, yeah, don't, don't kill your head. I'm going to kill my head. Okay. Well, you might be. Holy. Oh, my gosh, dude. Look at that. The this first is- official mayor's office, Case and Chinch bobblehead. Oh my God! I gotta redo my whole thing over there. <laughs> Look at this guy, dude! Isn't that awesome, dude? I don't even know what to say, dude. I'm gonna give give props out to Travis, bro. It, listen, these bobbleheads are so unique and so cool. They're 18 inches big. They're so cool. If you go to, let me find his. Our if you go to at our at rva underscore bobbles at rva underscore bobbles dude he made me one too that's why it's one or two but dude look look at the look at the detail and so it looks just like you bro it's incredible <laughs> it actually looks just like you it's so great at rva underscore bobbles travis grubb will make dude you can get your family members you can get anybody one of these bobbleheads those are the coolest things ever dude they're the greatest gifts ever. Christmas coming up. It's not really coming up, but when it comes up, these are great Christmas gifts, oh dude. Oh, my God. Dude, it, honestly, you got to give me Travis's number, so I got to call him. This is like, I will, dude. I will, bro. And there's also a bat in there, too. I think I'm supposed to have a bat in my hand, so don't be throwing oh, stuff wait, away. Wait, wait, wait. No, there's there's a whole little thing here. Oh, my God. I think, I think you have – oh, dude, you have a bat. You have a bat. You have a, Your bat is – your bat's awesome, too. Oh, we got Wait. decals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait till you see your oh, bat, RVA though. Bottles. This is where you got to go, right? R, what is it? Yep. RVA Un, R, at RVA underscore bobbles. Maybe we'll p- put it in the link today's show. Dude, look at the bats. Dude, look at your bat, though. Wait till you see your bat. This is unbelievable. Yeah, oh, dude, wait till you see your bat. It's, uh, it, 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 you know, this is where Trav goes next level. I don't want to break anything. I'm trying to be. Are you? It? Is me? that is that it? Is that yours? Columbia, Columbia the Columbia bat. You gotta be. S- 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 I don't want to curse. <laughs> Look at this. That's, that's so cool. I'm glad you reminded that because I would Travis. If I were Travis, I'd be pissed if we didn't put the bats on. Yeah, you almost threw them away. You thought there were two pens. <laughs> <laughs> I go, what are these pens? Bro, isn't it? Is this your first ever chinch bobblehead? A million percent. <laughs> Who's the other Oh, you got your hickory smoke. Yeah, isn't that cool? That's my World Series bat he makes he now. That's like the detail on I know, dude. Dude, it's, dude, like, it's incredible. Like, oh, my God. This is what is genius, man. Like, this is art. This is no, absolutely No, art. dude, he's an artist. It's incredible, dude. Isn't that amazing? Bro, look how, dude. Yeah, at home, look at this. Look how big it is, dude. It's so much. Like, it's it's eighteen inches big. That's why it's it's tough. You have to look at the scale, dude. That looks just like you. I can't believe you wore that outfit today with the hat and the glasses, bro. I almost wore a different hat. <laughs> Although he gave me the butt part, he gave me the butt part, which I like. You know, that's old, old school. The butt part, Trav. You gave me the butt part hairstyle. Oh, the butt. I like it hair though. Style. Oh, yeah, but he but he also gave me the brown hair. Thanks, bro. I you know I, I know I got the gray on the sides, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, your ass, our asses look great too. <laughs> Dude, by the way, Trav, I don't know how he would assume this, but that I I cuff my I cuff my jeans like a like a. Dude, you know. he he found a picture. I don't know where I don't I don't know how he found out you cuff your jeans, but he he did some deep dive research on Rich Cinchimino. Oh, and I got a pin. You give me a pin. Look at this, man. Let me wear yeah, it. Cool? Huh. <laughs> I'll put it on now for my boy because he did this for us. It is Unbelievable. Awesome. I don't know what to say. I'm really I'm very touched. I'm crazy. It's really crazy. Yeah, so now you gotta get that in you gotta get that on the shelf next. I guess nice, you got the shelf. RVA bobbles um pin. Okay, now I know. Yeah, thanks a lot, dude. Great job. It took him a while to do that too, bro. I can only imagine, dude. It has every single detail. I know. 
Oh my god, dude. Isn't that cool with the desk? How he did the desk with the two mics? Yeah, if we ever get in a studio show, we're just gonna have to use this desk because it's <laughs> really nice. so cool. Look at this. Look at the desk. So cool, bro. He even hasn't taken balls deep on the bottom. It's great. Yeah. And look, free popcorn for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You taking a picture? Hold it up, Chinch. Yeah, hold it up. There it is. Unveiled the first ever mayor's office bobblehead today on the mayor's office. Look at look at Chinch. Just looks it looks just like him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> I love it, dude. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Oh, bro, it's God. so great. Oh, I'm so excited, man. That's so. You know why? You know why I love it, dude? Because it's so unique. Like like how. You, you, you can't find that anywhere. The fact that he, you know, is such an artist and he does what he does is like so cool. I told you, bro, when I met him, he showed up at the uh, at the at the one event in in Virginia when I was sitting next to Billy Wagner. Yeah. He walked up with this bobble, eighteen inch Sean Casey bobble. I'm like, this is incredible. That's why I was like, can I get your number? Can I can I call, can you make me one? Can you? And then when I was like, he sent me one day. He's like, think Chinch would love one. I was like, do you think you can make a mayor's office one? I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Dude, that's big fan why. of the show. Trav's listening. So Trav, thank you, man. You're, you're thanks, a- Trav. Appreciate, dude. It went over incredible. And thanks for sending those popcorn, annoying popcorn things. Oh. So they're all over Chinch's freaking office right now. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Come on, dude. <laughs> I don't mind. It's worth it. I'll eat that popcorn later. Look at your heads bobbling, dude. Look at your heads bobbling right now. Look. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to look like Jake Paul's head after Tyson's done with him, you know? <laughs> Dude, what do you think of that? Jake Paul getting ready to fight Tyson in July. I'm getting it. I don't care, dude. I'm 100% getting it, and Tyson's going to murder him in a ring. I dude, think. did you see what the rules are, though? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a whole MMA. rule. So, so he can tag in his brother, Logan Paul, at any point. That's cool. Kind of cool. Like it's, like, it's like it's like the Savannah Bananas of boxing, kind of. Yeah, yeah. He, he's allowed to wear headgear. Oh, that's smart. So he's going to wear it. Dude, Tyson could throw one punch friends. and brain damage him. I didn't realize they're friends. They, like, smoke weed together and stuff. Oh, Just do they? Okay, well, that's dude. cool. <laughs> cool. Well, whatever, whatever floats your boat. But, dude, they, I'm, what's that? I wonder what that conversation was like. Hey, dude, you want to go toe-to-toe one day? I mean, because did you see Tyson fight Roy Jones Jr. the one time? I actually thought they were – I thought it was good. Did you not think it was I, good? I thought it was pretty good, yeah, but you could tell Roy Jones was scared. I mean, yeah. he was, like, so defensive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyson took a couple rips but never caught him. Right, right. You'd like to see, if they're going to fight, you would like to see Tyson. You would like to see him fight. You want to see Titans unload on him. But you also, Jake Paul, dude, Jake Paul can fight. Jake, can I, fight. I've watched, watched enough now to see him that he's a pretty good boxer. You know what I mean? Yeah. What do you guys think? <laughs> what do you guys <laughs> um, They say yes. They say yes. Yes. You guys don't understand. When we came on, I'm like, oh, we should do this at the end. He's like, I can't wait till the end. I can't wait. Yeah, I can't wait till the end, dude. What are you, nuts? I was like, I was crawling out of my skin. Can't wait to can't wait oh. to show you that. Well, I'm gonna thank Trav again at the end of this episode. But let's get a little baseball news in here. I, I don't need like I can't even concentrate. This is the coolest thing. <laughs> I've been one of the coolest gifts I've ever got in my life. Um, all right, super quick, fairly decent news. They call it a sigh of relief for the Yankees, as in C Y of relief, because Cole does not have to have Tommy John surgery. They're saying. But it's still going to be a couple months. And you know how arms work with pitchers. It, it could be three months, like you said yesterday. Uh, real quick, Heyman. What did up- they say? What did they, I haven't seen the report, so what did they say? Um, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Da, da, da. I can't recall. I had it out there. I was all nervous for a second. But uh, – Likely to avoid He's Tommy to Johnson. Likely avoid the Tommy John surgery. So that's a big news. But still, like you said, that could be three. That could still be three or four months. So here is Heyman's list of what they must do, even in the meantime. Even though this this news is better than the worst case scenario, he's listing in this order uh, the best the best guys for the Yankees to get. In the meanwhile, one he says okay. Blake Snell. Now he's been okay. on Blake Blake Snell hook and. Uh, he's pretty locked in with what Scott Boris is doing. So, right. Sounds like that. <laughs> Number two would be joining Montgomery. Somebody says he likes the Rangers a lot better than when he was, than, than the Yankees, but eh, okay, that's fine. Three, Lazardo says that the Yankees didn't have enough to land Cease. It's hard to see them acquiring Lazaro because he has three, three years uh, remaining. Lazardo's got great stuff, lefty for the Marlins. Right. Okay. 
Spore is a guy you mentioned yesterday. It's Michael Lorenzen, who can also hit, yeah. play the outfield, by the way. <laughs> he actually can. <laughs> actually legit. Yeah. yeah. Five I hadn't talk, thought about, but this guy's like kind of has his ups and downs, but it's Mike Clevenger, who is a heck of a pitcher. But yeah. he, he's I like Clevenger. Down. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's good. I mean, I don't think he's the same guy he was, but he's got a decent year. He just came back from Tommy John himself. Yeah. And his number six, which is my number one in my heart, is Trevor Bauer, but he makes a great, Cayman has a great sentence at the back end of this. He goes, getting Trevor Bauer would add insult to Cole's injury. <laughs> because like, yeah. They, yeah, like I said, Cole. they don't get, al they didn't get along in, in, at UCLA. I don't think they get along now. No, they don't. So that's yeah. probably not happening. Yeah. Like I said, unless you put him on a, uh, he can only show up to the ballpark and not talk to anybody. And, and and I think of this, dude. Here's here's what I think. So, Garrett Cole's lit, is elite. He's he's better than everybody. And and I'm so glad he's not doesn't have to have Tommy John. This is this is great news. You know what I mean? I must admit, like the fact they said his his UCL is intact. That's mm -hmm. huge because this is one of the uh, you know nothing worse than when you hear that initially and then like a few months later like oh he went just decided to do the surgery so the fact that it's intact is huge right. um but this is where my thought process goes a little bit and i've said this before you know with juan soto being on a one-year deal you know you, you're 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 ready to win right now with that lineup that lineup is so deep top to bottom it's incredible um so when I look at the whole thing, and if you're gonna pay, if you're gonna get a guy like Jordan Montgomery, then you got to get a guy like Blake Snell, because Snell, you know, is a guy that when he's on, he's a shut down lefty dude. Right. He's not like he's a swing and miss guy. Right. Like that curveball, and, and you know, he has a swing and miss pitch, and that's why you look at Devin Williams with the Brewers that is out for three months. He's got one of the greatest pitches in the game that change up. Mm -hmm. Well, Blake Snell is one of the greatest curveballs in the game. Nobody hits it. I want to say like three for 90 off it last year. Seriously, the numbers were incredible. Right, right. right? Um, I, you know, I guess the big thing is just the, they're at the luxury tax. But like I, like I said, it never used to bother the Yankees, the luxury tax. I think it's now that they're at the 100% threshold. It's a little uneasy because like you said, you, that if you – if you give forty million to Snell, you got to give him eighty million with the luxury tax. Forty more million, right? You're paying a hundred percent on the money you're paying. A lot. But you are the Yankees. You're ready to win now. You got, you know, you know, uh, Cole will be back hopefully in three months from now. Um, you know, I just don't know. I, I just really feel like they need another starter. Now they do have some good <clears throat> young arms too that I don't think we give enough credit to. And Will Warren has got some great stuff. And then. Uh, is it bleaker? Uh, yeah, yeah. The the young the young uh, righty too. He's got good stuff. And he's had it. He's had a really nice camp. Uh, so you know, I think you know, for me, man, when I see the situation, I'm just glad that Cole doesn't need Tommy John surgery, mm -hmm. and that he'll be back in three months. Right. And no, no, Cole. It says it says eight to twelve weeks or ten to twelve weeks. No, Cole, he'll be back in ten because he's. You know, he's a, he takes care of himself. He knows what he's doing. He's a hard worker. So, uh, at the end of the day, it's just not good to lose Garrett Cole for that long, no. that long when you're trying to win a world championship like the Yankees are. He's the best. You know? he said yesterday, I, I, don't, I don't think you can make an argument. At this moment, he's the best pitcher in baseball. Because it oh. looks like him and DeGrom won, too. De, we haven't seen DeGrom in almost two years. But he, here's the deal with Garrett Cole and, and being with him last year, watching every day. He's hands down the best pitcher in the game. I love it. Like, there's a lot of – there's Garrett Cole and everybody else. Seriously, mm -hmm. I really believe that. And I would say most guys that face him would say the same thing. But also, I, I just noticed this when you when you were there more, hearing him talk, watching him talk in the dugout and stuff. Like, he knows – he's like one of the smartest baseball players, right? Like, not right. Only, like on a pitching – obviously, it's a science when he's pitching. Because yeah. when he does his post-game stuff and explains, like, his process, it's like – if that is at a level than than any other, higher than any other like post game talk you hear, and but also I hear him like I, it seems like he knows hitters and knows hitting and and knows the the game as a whole. Like he could be a manager, don't you think? One day, dude, I, I had some of the best. Con oh, dude, no doubt. He he had I had some of the best conversations with him. I, I loved that he would always pick my brain and dug a hey, case. How would you? How if you know if this guy set you up here? Or if I pitched you this way, how would you attack me? Or what would be your game plan? 
we were always talking. He's always thinking, always one step ahead, two steps ahead of everybody else. And like I said, watching Garrett Cole prepare for a start was impressive, man. He would sit down, have his earphones in on his laptop, and he's writing down, you know, game plan for each hitter. You know, so the difference between a guy like Garrett Cole and somebody else is when you have the stuff that he has and you can execute on hitters' weaknesses too, you're elite. Mm. There's a lot of guys that have great stuff in the big leagues that can't execute to the hitter's weakness. Gosh. Right? He's a guy that has great stuff, five pitches, but he's so pinpoint accurate and is so good mechanically, he can execute on his strengths and your weaknesses. Ugh. That's why he's such a problem. Yeah, he'll be missed, man. He'll be missed for yeah. sure in the short term. Um, yep. All right, a couple yeah. other things going on. Dude, you said it. You, I got to give you props. Before the season, or before, in the off season, you were talking about how great you think Wyatt Langford is going to be as a professional baseball player. And he's he's coming right in hot. Like Dude, we, you, go, you go back to this draft. Paul Skeens went one. We know he's a stud. Dylan Cruz went two. We know he's a stud. Wyatt Langford went four. And there was a lot of people that were like, Wyatt Langford might be the best hitter in this draft. He probably should be going two, maybe ahead of Dylan Cruz. He's proven it, dude. In, the, in, the, in 13 Cactus League games, buckle up for this one. He's hitting 361 with a 442 on base and an 806 slug. Almost has a 1250 OPS. Yeah. And hit a grand slam the other day. I'd be, dude. Last year in the minors, he finished up in AAA. Four levels he went through, but he hit 360 with almost the same line. 480 on base, 677 slug. Yeah. I'd be shocked if this dude doesn't break camp with yeah. the uh, you know with, with 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 the Rangers. This guy rakes. He look. He also he like Wyatt Langford. If you haven't drafted yet in yeah. your fantasy leagues, get this dude. Yeah, he looks. He also looks like a baseball player, and he has a great baseball name. Like Wyatt yeah. Langford, that's like yeah. Roy Hobbs, you know. Yeah, just means you're. If your name's Wyatt Langford, it means you're a stud. <laughs> yeah, you're <a> stud. <laughs> uh, two other studs faced off yesterday. This was really cool. Skeen versus Holiday, dude. And yeah. Skeen's thrown like 150 miles per hour. He wound up striking him out. But it's the future is bright in this game. They think about what Langford you just talked about. These two guys, you got. There's there is the youth movement is upon us more than ever in, in, in professional baseball, I think. Yeah, and and you see what they're doing too with the, they're having the prospects, they're having some prospect games right now. Yes. So the Mar Marlins prospects play the Cardinals prospects today, the national prospects play the Mets prospects, Padres. So there, so it's kind of cool. Yesterday was the Pirates versus the Orioles. That's why you saw Skeens versus versus Jackson Holiday. Yeah. You know, he, he punched him out. They faced each other twice. Jackson Holiday grounded out the first at bat earlier in the spring. Then he punched him out yesterday. I think it was the got the three two though. Mm -hmm. Threw him a changeup, but you know, outside. But you know, guy was throwing a hitting 102 miles an hour. And you could see Skeens was fired up too, because he kind of gave a first batter of the game, kind of gave it a little fist pump. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but that's fun, man. There's a lot of good young players. And we're talking White Langford, we're talking Jackson Holiday, we're yeah. talking Jackson's Churio. We're talking Paul Skeens. We're talking Dylan Cruz. There's a lot of good young players in the game right now, man. And the game is in a good place. And more teams nowadays, Chinchy, want to bring guys up quicker. You know, back when I was coming up, you know, give these guys A ball, give them double A. When he gets here, he's ready. These guys are now, you know, baptism by fire. Come on up and learn at the big league level. And I you know, kind of like it. Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah. All, right. All right, dude, I got to go tell everybody about this. I got to go. <laughs> I mean, there it is. Once again, I cannot, we cannot thank, give Travis another pop right now, dude. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, listen, go to Trav. Thanks, man. This thing is incredible. Look, he got me the Nike dunks too on my shoes or Nike dunks. I see that. That's so cool, dude. That's so cool. Dude, you go to uh, at RVA underscore bobbles. I believe you can find him on X. That, that's so cool. You can find Trav on X or Instagram. He's growing this company too. These are great gifts, man. These are great gifts. Send him a picture. Yeah. You know, he'll 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 uh you know break down exactly what you want. But if you want the coolest bobblehead in the world, you know, that that's you know could be for your family or your son or his buddy or your whatever, your dad, you make it, give your dad a bobblehead. Yeah, exactly. Grab can do it, man. So cool.
Awesome. Thanks again, Trav. I got to go. You got to yeah. give me the number when we get off. And I yeah, I will, dude. I will. I will. And then I got two things to do for the rest of the day. Uh, let's see. We're done recording now. Probably going to be in a little while before the show gets out because I have literally Christmas on my floor right now. For all the popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> hey did you know I, dude this is this is one thing cool thing <clears throat> i just learned this the other day on instagram do you know you could take all those popcorn things put them in your sink put water on them and they it's it's like it's like corn it's like cornmeal what they just dissolve and go right down your drain do it try it I pour will. that whole box into your sink put water on it they'll dissolve and gone okay i'll do that today because those things are a pain in the but it makes me want to eat Cheetos. I'm going to get Cheetos today. <laughs> oh, dude. Me yeah. too. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. Again, in case, thank you. And Oh, my God. I don't even you know. You got it, brother. This is like so, like, I can't wait till Jess sees it, dude. This is like an Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an Oscar. Yeah. Bobblehead. Thanks, uh, it's our first mayor's office award. It's a bobblehead. Yeah, dude. Thanks again. Thanks, guys. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's the weekend heading into the weekend in good spirits right now. So yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone have a great weekend. We'll see you definitely on Monday and chinch. Enjoy the bobblehead. There you go, dude. I can't believe you wore the hat and the glasses. When I put the hat on, you go, yes. And you go, Sarah. And then you almost did the, the reveal of her, like her, uh, what was that? (laughs) Oh yeah. Her, her, like, what was that? The bat, uh, bachelorette party or something? something like that. Oh, shower, her shower. No, it wasn't a shower. I can't remember what it was. You know what I'm saying. Whatever it was. Either way, you almost blew it. And I was like, oh, he's going to say something right now. But you didn't. I know, but but dude, I can't believe you wore those glasses and the hat, dude. That's incredible. (laughs) All right, hey, everybody. Thanks for listening to the Mayor's Office. We really, really appreciate it. We hope everyone has an incredible weekend. And love you, bro. Love you, bro. You're the greatest. See you Monday.